Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome. It's time for another exciting edition of The Wizard of Pamela the Movie. This is the exciting new show where we tell you what we thought the latest movie. That way you know better than to spend your money at the theater, or just wait until it comes out on cable. This week we're going to do an edition we're incredibly excited about, because we're going to tell you about the top 10 best movies of the 20th century. Wait a minute, most of the people weren't even alive from the 20th century. How they know what we're talking about? This way they won't know where they came from. Chat chat. The first one we are a list is Shrek. Starring Mike Fire and the Big Murphy. They picked this one because the monetary calendar a lot of great jokes in it. They picked this one because it was nice or a good fantasy story. Number five on our list is Star Wars. Do you say more? Number four on our list is Star Wars. Do you say more? Number three on our list is Star Wars. Do you say more? Number two on our list is Disney Fantasy's Monster Day. This is spelled a couple of monsters we have with a little girl named Boo and it's up to them to get her home. Meanwhile, the corporation wants to collect screams. This is spelled a dramatic artist fight. Not only that, but watching monsters travel the world is real who. Exactly. And the number one spell on our list, none other than Pamela Goes to Hollywood. What? This one is a new film written and directed by none other than yours truly. Sorry, that's one of the finest films ever created since Lumiere Brothers. Out during the moon. During Captain Zia Jones and Shepard and William and Pamela. Wait a minute, there's no such movie as Pamela Goes to Hollywood. Not yet, but I got a lot of with Jim Gilbert. I mean, like Kyle Cabell. Kyle Blaney, here I come. Well, I guess we run out of time for the day. By the way, folks, listen to the irony of the psychic. No experience necessary, we'll pray. Bye for now, I'll see you next week on The Wizard and. Oh, I hear Captain Lee Gifford needs the job to make all of you a call.